Welcome back everybody. I hope you are all doing well and quarantining and surviving the COVID-19 crisis. Halloween is halfway here. I guess we're halfway to Halloween, but uh, I need some inspiration. I've been feeling a little down lately, as some of you know, um, especially with the uncertainty of what's going to happen with Halloween this year. So I thought it has been far too long since we did one of our top 10 Pinterest pins videos, so I thought we'd turn to Pinterest to look for a little inspiration. So here is my Pinterest page. If you're interested in following me, you can do so at Colonel Mustard, that's K-R-N-L-M-U-S-T-R-D, and uh, I'd be happy to follow you back. We can be Pinterest pr friends, but I'm kind of bad at, at keeping up with who follows me, so if you want me to follow you back, be sure to send me a message. I'd be more than happy to do so, especially if you've got these fun Halloween pins like I like to collect every month or couple of months. It's actually, I didn't do too many. It looks like May 19th was just three boards go, and our last one was back in November, so we are definitely overdue for some inspiring pins. I do have a top 10 to share with you today, although it looks like a top 12 here already. I don't want you to peek too much at what we're going to look at, but just looking through some of my old boards too. Um, you know, I do love collecting all these fun Halloween pins. Usually sometimes, usually sometimes, <laughs> they are in themes, but this month was just inspiring picks that made me think of Halloween like this one. You know, when we were in Universal Studios a couple of years ago, they had a scare zone with all of these carved jack-o'-lanterns hanging from trees. And it was just amazing to see in person. So I think that this would be something somebody could do if you had a lot of money. You know, you, these each of these little pails cost like a buck. But, you know, if you had a couple hundred dollars to spend, you could buy them. And then, of course, you're going to have to spend a couple hundred hours to hang them all up. Um, because that looks like it would be a gigantic effort. But just look how awesome this looks. And it looks like several people have posted similar pins. See, this is nice. I'm not going to criticize this person's pen here. That's kind of blurry. Um, but when you don't really have a whole lot, I mean, if you're going to go for you know this kind of theme, you have to go over the top, and it's probably going to take a whole lot more pumpkins than you can imagine. Like this one. This one's, I guess, more of the medium pumpkin tree. Not so bad, but definitely not this overwhelming fullness like this. Also, somewhat makes me want wonder if this might be some Photoshop, but I doubt it. Um, I'll just scroll down, look at a few of these other pumpkin pins, interesting ones, but you know, again, I love them hanging from the trees when you walk under them and you're just surrounded by all these cool jack-o'-lanterns. So next up we have this creepy gentleman. If you're a fan of the Halloween forums as I am, in fact, I think you should check it out. I love that place for good, good inspiration. Um, we have seen lots of monster mud creations in the past, which is what I'm assuming this is. You and, and I can't remember the formula for it offhand, but it's some sort of like spackling compound mixed with some um, gray coloring, and then you just dip in your uh, your burlap, and then you can sort of sculpt it. I'm not sure how they do it. I've never tried one, but if I were, I would love to make a guy like this. He, uh, he's got this little sign, you know, if, if I'm going to do my haunted cinema this year, I could have a little cinema sign with, a, you know, horror film festival something just to give it a nice little entry. But you can see some of these other sort of monster mud creations. This guy was one of the first ones I saw that is pretty cool looking. And of course, whoever came up with this um, beloved statue was brilliant. There's just lots of options where you can make statuesque looking figures or these stand up grim reapers that aren't going to, you know, the fabric's going to stay in place and not blow away. Anyway, I would love to do that. I probably won't. It's more effort than I like to put into my projects, but uh, it's pretty cool. As is this. This one's a bit more fun. You know me, I love Frankenstein. I don't really have a, a need for this this year, but when I saw it, I thought it looked really fun. It's a beanbag toss game. Um, and I've seen so many different kinds of beanbag tosses. I've never seen one throwing Frankenstein his brain. I don't know if this is something that we can buy or if it is a 
homemade creation. I'm not sure where we can buy little um, brains. Actually, I do come think of it. Uh, at the Dollar Tree, they always sell them in those little styrofoam containers made to look like meat products. I don't know if they had them recently, but I know I've seen them in the past. I probably even have one. So that would be an interesting option. All right. So here we have a jack-o'-lantern. Now, I've seen versions of this jack-o'-lantern eating something before. I've always loved the concept. I've never tried one, but I thought this was an interesting twist. I've seen them where you have like a fake leg sticking out made with clothing and a shoe or something. Never thought to use, you know, an actual one of these fake body parts, um, but that realistic looking foot sticking out is an interesting twist. Let's see if they had any other versions of it as we scroll down. I don't really see anything too different. I wish I had these mad carving skills. I am just not artistic like that. I don't think I could ever create this, but maybe we can come up with some sort of pre-molded jack-o'-lantern that we could work into that. I don't know. I would definitely need a template. This guy is awesome too. I don't know that there's necessarily too much to him. I mean, he's an awesome looking ghoul, but I think it's the size that really makes it. I don't know, they've got him on some sort of stick here. Obviously way up tall. If you had some sort of, um, uh, like a telephone pole or a light, light pole in your yard, you could maybe attach something up top and have it flow and you'd see it from far away. I think it's an awesome concept. I don't know if it's legal if you can actually attach things to foam poles and things like that, but you know, think how dramatic and awesome that was. Even if I had like two of these, one on either side of my driveway, you may remember in my walkthrough last year, I had two inflatable sentinels on each side of the driveway, and I thought it was an amazing look but this would be even more amazing, especially since I think I overdid my inflatables just a little bit last year. So I love this more realistic looking decor. Oh, now I have found a number of gumball machines at the Dollar Tree, or not the Dollar Tree, sorry, at the Goodwill. And this is an awesome concept. I have put eyeballs in them before. And I've been looking, I bought a small one that I was going to make into like a little witch somehow. And I just never got around to it. But it would be so much cooler to fill it with these little heads. I don't know what they're made of or how you would even get them. But, oh look, here's an easier one, I guess. If I ended up doing it, it would probably be simple like this, where you could get the little skulls from Michael's or wherever. This person's put Barbie doll heads in theirs. But this with this creepy little sort of doll's face it is so dramatic and awesome. Here's a, a different version of it. Very, very cool. I guess, I'm sure you must be able to get these little doll's heads somewhere. And you can probably just spray paint them a little bit, give it a little uh, creepy vibe. But that might be a project I might try and pursue this year, even though the creepier thing would probably be some 40 year old guy shopping for little dolls. <laughs> but little do they know I'd be chopping their heads off. Maybe that is very creepy. Anyway, this is more cutesy than creepy, but I loved it as well because we all have these cauldrons and it's hard to do things with them, but why not stick a chalkboard behind it and draw on some smoke? It just adds an interesting, you know, something to your cauldron um, without having to go into too much effort. And of course, they have lots of chalkboard fall creations, but I'm just enamored with this one for some reason. I really like it. It's simple, it's easy, it's classic, it's classy. Here's a creepy one, you know, if you've watched my walkthrough videos before, I have ponds all over the place. If I could get a giant skull like this and have it just over a waterfall, in fact, in my walkthrough last year, I really incorporated one of my ponds into my pirate theme. And I've got a small waterfall that if I had a giant skull like that, I could just stick right over it and it would look like the water was coming out of it. I might have to look for one of those this year. I hope it's not something I have to make, <laughs> but where do you even buy some sort of skull that, that big? 
I bet it is made. That's a shame. That's probably too much effort for me. This is way too much effort for me. But again, I'm kind of hung up on my theme last year with the pirates. If I could have incorporated this somewhere, it would have been amazing. Not that I would ever have come up with something this cool, but it looks like, you know, you've got your pipe fittings. You could easily make that yourself, but how are you going to make this creepy looking octopus, you know, attached to it? I have no idea, but I wish I knew because it's awesome and I definitely want one of these. Looks like other people have made, I don't know if this is all versions of the same. I mean, it looks pretty similar. It looks like it is the same. Um, and look, there's a steampunky um, carousel horse and another one, another horse. Um, but we definitely like the octopus for our pirate themed haunted attractions. This one was also cool. Again, stuck on this last year's theme, I have to move on. But if I had these wall sconces, this doesn't look like it would be that hard to make. Um, this is probably though custom. I don't know if we can get some sort of fake octopus tentacle, but you could easily hang a little lantern off of it. Whoever did this has got some mad skills that I envy. Here's a cheaper version of it. You know, I did actually have a octopus candle holder just for a tabletop, which you can see in my last year's walkthrough too. I found them at the at-home store. They were a little pricey. I think they were like six bucks each, but it you know, kind of looked like this one right here. A little bit different, but something like that. And it just added kind of a fun element to the tables. But speaking of lanterns, this is a very easy to make looking one. Not necessarily Halloween, but it kind of is. I can definitely see this in my pirate theme. Um, just because it kind of looks like something you'd find on a pirate boat, maybe with these wood, like you could make that out of two by, f well, I don't know if it's two by fours, but you know, some sort of planked wood. And I don't know what this is, a coat hook type thing. And then a hanging lantern. Looks like it would be so easy to make, so dramatic. A few other people have done versions of it. Here's a much simpler one, but there's something just not quite as cool about it. I think it might be that the stained wood and this ornamental lantern that really pulls it off, but certainly you can come up with some other ideas. Add little twists, maybe some sort of skull motif or something Halloween on it. I wonder if you could even use it to hang, if not just a regular lantern, some sort of jack-o'-lantern. This brings us to our last pin, because again, it is a stressful time for me. I need a nice relaxing bath, soak in the hot water, and what would be more cool than to soak in this bathtub with your red wine, your uh, skeleton goblet, but I love all of the candles and candelabras with the black candles, and this awesome looking tray table made to look like a coffin. That is absolutely perfect, and I want one of these really bad. And now I'm going to go down and enjoy my plain old boring bathtub maybe. But that'll do it for this month. Stay tuned. Maybe we'll do another one of these next month. I kind of have this urge to go through some of my old Halloween magazines. I mean I've got you know a big stack of them before I stopped collecting them so we can start looking in some magazines from years ago try to get some more inspiration and see if we can come up with a craft or two to start working on to occupy our time as we work closer toward Halloween. So stay tuned for more. Till then take care guys. Happy haunting.